Joshua Locamba, Transfers in the Spirit World, Beloved. When the Lord appeared to me he told me, Joshua, this world is ruled by laws and principles that man must keep in order to experience blessing, the Lord held my ear and said, remember what I am telling you now, Christian are the most negligent people in the world in comparison to people of other religion, don't be negligent like them, beloved, in the spirit world, transfers happen a lot. Sometimes it is a transfer of sickness, transfer of wealth, transfer of political power, many people are experiencing transfers without realizing it. Maybe the quality of your life is not what was planned by God. You are living a life that has been transferred to you. It is not the one the Lord had planned for you. People are victims of wealth transfer, intelligence transfer, star transfer, destiny transfer. They are living a parallel life that has been transferred to them. The Bible tells us about another transfer in Genesis 27 verse 32 to 35 when Isaac asked Esau, Who are you? And Esau said, I am your son, the firstborn. Then Isaac trembled violently and said to Esau, Your brother Jacob came deceitfully and has taken away your blessing. We can see that Esau lost his firstborn right because of food. He was tricked by his own brother. There was a transfer of blessing from Esau to Jacob. These kinds of transfer are happening a lot in the spirit world. Let us hear some testimonies about the transfer so that you can get a sense of what we are talking about. Testimony 1, Beloved, a lady of our church was attacked in her workplace by a man with a mystical injury resisting medical treatment. When her husband brought her here, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever is responsible for this injury, let it return to him. As a result, the woman was healed. The injury left her leg and was transferred to the perpetrator who could no longer turn up to work anymore because the injury was transferred to his leg. He went to the general hospital and his leg had to be amputated. David's son Adnijah should have inherited David's throne but there was a transfer. As a result, Solomon took that kingship but in reality, it was Abnijah who was to be king. Testimony 2 I received a God-fearing lady, the wife of a pastor, she was a former businesswoman for she used to have a big store in the central market in the city center, the rich lady got bankrupt, when I got his visit the Lord revealed how she went bankrupt because of spiritual transfer, I saw that one day after working and she was closing the store, she was about to go home, it was a hot day and she bought water in the street, and she was about to put the change in her back. At that moment a beggar, an old man came to ask her for change, without hesitation she gave the old man the change, the elder thanked her and said may the Lord bless you, the woman did not do wrong in the eyes of men, but she did wrong in the eyes of God, for she gave a witch her money which represent her wealth, as a result this poor old man who was a witch was able to capture the wealth of this business woman for a period of twenty years, just because of the change she gave him. From the day the lady gave the poor old man her change she began to experience loss in her business, nothing was working, the business was going down gradually until the store shut down because of loss, when she went bankrupt she went to apply loan in the bank, and the bank landed her money, she tried to work in order to recover and pay back the loan, but she went bankrupt again, for nothing was working anymore, whatever she tried to do was collapsing. The bank came and seized her mansion for she was unable to pay back, there was agitation in the family because nothing was ordinary, in the end the woman fell ill, as a result wilderness and extreme poverty invaded her home, she began to sell little items like peanut in the corner of the street, she went from one church after another seeking restoration, but there was no change, but the day she came to see me, I told the woman, servant of God, the Lord is telling me that you had a lot of money, however, I am seeing an old man a beggar that you gave change in the street after buying water, do you remember that day, the beggar you gave the change stole your wealth and has blocked your life, immediately the lady looked at me carefully with serious eyes, and she said, man of God, when you mentioned the beggar immediately I remember the old man that I gave change in the central market, I recognize what happened on that day and every time I go to the central market I see the old man, I told the lady servant of God, it is the day you gave that beggar the money that he had captured your wealth in the last twenty years, 
since your wealth has been captured whatever effort and undertaking you tried had not work, this beggar is a witch, he has built building in the unseen world of witches, where he has become rich and wealth, every time people give him change in the market he confiscate and capture their wealth, anyone who give him change will suffer loss, he has acquired by force people wealth that he has stolen in the lives of those who give him change, I said to the lady servant, we will pray so that the Lord will restore what have been stolen, I pray for the servant of God, and the following day when the lady servant of God came she was entering the church when I heard the voice of the Lord telling me, Joshua, tell my servant to give you fifty dollar that she has inside her bag, and I will restore her finance, I said to the lady servant of God who was coming to enter the church, servant, would you please come closer, the Lord is telling me that you have fifty dollar in your bag, that someone gave you, thus say the Lord, give me the fifty dollar that they gave you and God will bless you, the woman of God was a bit afraid for she said, man of God, you were not there when they gave me the money, but since you know what is hidden, I will obey the word of the Lord, the lady servant did not hesitate, she took the money from the bag and gave it to me, I said to her, servant of God, you have obeyed, now you may enter and join the service, brother and sister, it is while I was preaching and praying for people in that service, that the lady phone began to ring right in the middle of the service, she could not answer these call because the service was going on, it is when the service ended that she pick up the call, it was actually a call from America, where a lady called her to tell her that she had sent her 2500 American dollar, the lady from America said to her, I could not sleep for God was bothering me to send you this money, moreover the lady servant of God was healed from her sickness, and today she is building many stores, testimony 3 I came from a church where they invited me to preach, I was going back home, when I got a victory roundabout, in this place I saw two beggar, one was a paralytic and another was an old man, I decided to give them the little I had, however there were before me two people that gave them change, I pulled out the money I had in order to give them, yet my money is always blood money, I got this money thanks to human sacrifice, a man had to die for me to become rich, this sacrifice was necessary, someone died more than two thousand years ago for me to become rich, he is Jesus Christ, my biological father, on that day after preaching in that church they blessed me with money, given that there is a demon in money note, called mammon, thus whenever I get money I always declare, I dip the money in the blood of Jesus Christ, and since my money was dipped in the blood of the lamb, when I gave one of this beggar my money, instead of taking the money, he looked at my eyes and told me, I will not take your money, I said to him, I gave you more than the two people before me, he told me, please go away, I won't take your money, immediately the Lord opened my spiritual eyes, and I saw this man in the world of witches, where he was very rich, and he had many building for he has built even ski crapper in the wizard world, but he was poor and a beggar in our world, when I saw this images of the wealth of this witch in the spirit, I told him, you going to take this money whether you like it or not, he told me I will not take it, when people saw that we were having an argument they came and surrounded us, I said to the man, you are a wizard, whenever people give you money, you capture their wealth and chances, and you have become rich in the wizard world, people were stunned and they chased him away from that place, I want to tell you brother, if what belonged to you was transferred to someone else, it is not too late to undo what you have lost through transfer, many people have lost the position that they were supposed to occupy because of transfer, many men and women have been deviated from their marriage because of transfer, many people have lost their intelligence because of transfer yet they used to be clever, people destiny, chance and stars are deviated through transfer, we all know the transfer that happened between Jacob and Esau, it is because of a mistake Esau lost his position and his power, these kind of transfer and deviation happen every day, people are losing money, power and chances because you of transfer, testimony for, brother, I am mourning a brother that I loved, brother John was a brother who feared the Lord, he was an orphan, he was raised and sent to school by his uncle but after graduation, he could not find a job, he was a member of a church in the city, he prayed for a job but it never came, when he came to us, we prayed for him, immediately the Lord revealed why he was unemployed, 
the Lord said his uncle was responsible for that situation. I said to him, My brother, thus says the Lord, your uncle is a witch. He is responsible for your situation. The brother refused to accept this categorically. He said, No. My uncle is the one that raised me and financed my education since the death of my parents. I said to him, Brother, you are not the only victim of his witchcraft. He has blocked even his own children from getting jobs and getting married. The brother said to me, You are absolutely right. None of his children has a job and none of them is married despite their education. I said to this brother, Even if you are doubting God's oracle, I will pray and you will get a job. A few days after our prayer, he was employed in the city. The day he signed the contract, I told him not to tell his uncle. He defied my word yet this was the word of God. When he went to inform his uncle, to his surprise, his uncle got extremely angry. His uncle insulted him and abused him. The uncle asked him, What are you trying to prove to me? What are you trying to show me? He said to his uncle, I just wanted to announce to you that I got a job. Why are you angry? When he said that, the uncle got even angrier and more aggravated and he insulted him. Later this brother came to tell me what happened. I said to him, My brother, I told you not to tell him but you are failing to keep my instruction. Then I said to him, My brother, be careful. God is about to punish this man who is responsible for your hardship. You are getting a place of your own but you must not give your uncle any of your money. You are warned. I said to him, you must not pay your uncle a visit again, otherwise there might be a transfer. From now on you will keep distance from him and not take anything from him not even a cent, if you dare to deceive you there will be transferred, my brother, when God said, don't do it, you don't do it. He replied, man of God, I hear you. I won't do it. A few days later, his uncle got sick and was taken to the general hospital. He was going in and out of a coma. However this man who was a witch kept asking to talk to brother John, he kept saying I want to talk to John because I am dying, I need to tell him things, in reality this witch was seeking to cause brother John to break the Lord instruction, giving him legality to perpetrate spiritual transfer, it was his last tactic. Beloved when the Lord said don't go or don't touch you must obey, otherwise there will be consequence. I told brother John your dying uncle is seeking to talk to you but don't go, he assured me that he would not go, however when he was in the workplace, he received a call for from his family, telling him, your uncle is dying but you have refused to see him for the last time, out of mercy he went to visit his uncle, refusing to obey the Lord instruction not to visit him, upon his arrival he laid his hand and prayed for his uncle, when the visit ended he went out of the hospital. As soon as he began to walk the street he began to feel sick, when he got home he continued to suffer fever, brother John ate something and went to sleep, but brother John never woke up from his sleep, this was his end, my dear, the moment brother John die, his uncle was healed instantly, and his uncle is fine even today, what has happened here is called spiritual transfer, I lost this brother that I loved a lot just because he would not hear the instruction of the Lord. Whoever what to kill you brother let death that he is planning be transferred to him. When Jesus was born, there were people who saw his star, and when you were born brother there were people that also saw your star, maybe you are suffering because they stole your star, the enemy work with doctors to steal people's stars in the hospital, for when you were born these were the people who saw your star, many baby are dying because they are killed by the enemy in order to steal their star. Satanist are richer because they are using people's star that they are stolen, the devil seek to kill babies so that they will not live to recoup their star that he has stolen, for he know through fervent prayer in the name of Jesus Christ one can recoup his star.